Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto uh, and welcome to this new video on Teller or TRB. It's probably not going to be my last update, um, but I had to make an update right now. I mean, obviously, after what happened yesterday, we were already talking about this. I, um, I did not necessarily say that it was going to crash. I'm not going to say that because that would be lying. But we did talk about that. This was the best moment that it was going to crash, right? Um, we um, in, in the video yesterday, we looked at a lot of statistics that were actually showing that it was quite likely that it was going to crash, um, which we'll still go, go over in this video. But this was it was expected. And a lot of people in the uh, premium group are also short. Personally, I'm waiting for a bit of a spike up like this one. I um I will tell you my entry, but um but yeah we'll talk about that in the video. Like I said, there is a premium group in which I share my own trades as signal. So like I also did with TRB just now, um but you also gain access to a chat room full of traders, which is very valuable and my trading guide. So if you are interested in that, consider joining. But um, but for now, let's actually get into TRB. So what we talked about yesterday, we're getting quite a lot of bullish momentum here with uh, with Bitcoin. That's interesting. Um, but what we talked about yesterday with TRB is that when when I made the video, what we what we saw is that that was actually right about here. I think what we saw is that the open interest and the volume actually like the volume just started dropping down and the open interest was already dropping down. And what I said is that I, I don't see it coming back from here. And that's also what I said in the Telegram groups, if you're in them. Um, so from there and then especially in the in the afternoon around like five or so it actually started to crash and then when it dropped down below 35 dollars it was practically over i would have expected more support between 31 dollars and 28 dollars that uh that teller has broken down below those levels instantly um is probably going to be a sign that will drop down lower pretty pretty soon um, the next support level is around 22 or 22 and a half and 21 dollars um but yeah this is it teller is probably not going to make higher highs i would not bet my life on that um but i i would bet uh, some money on that and that's also what i'm doing with a trade so what i'm waiting for now uh, or what i waited for now is for teller to hit this level again uh, between between the 236 fib and the 382 fib i will enter from that area All right i have my stop loss nice and safe up here and then i'll just wait for it to drop down all the way towards 17.5 because i do expect that it will get there um it's probably not going to be a quick journey like i says right now um what i like bitcoin is showing some bullish momentum and what usually happens with a crypto that is manipulated like this and it starts crashing is that it will still spike up a little bit towards this area it might even spike up all the way to 35 and 36 again um but after that after that spike after that quick recovery i do expect it to drop back down towards uh, 22.5 and 21 dollars like i said and then after that it will probably drop down a little bit slower uh, and also depending on Bitcoin, I mean, if Bitcoin is going to be very, very bullish today and in the next weeks, uh, then TRB might just stay on top of 22.5 and on top of $21 for quite a long time. Ultimately, uh, in September, I, I would still think, I think that I will also drop down below this because in the end, the manipulation actually started from the levels around $10. So it's, um, yeah, it, it's still going to drop down quite a bit. So this is what I would expect uh, on the long term, but on the short term, like I said, I expect a bit of bullish volatility, uh, bullish spikes, followed by, by a continuation down to the major support level between 22.5 and $21. I expect for support from there, but after a while, after that support, and probably after some bearish momentum from Bitcoin, I expect that support to drop down and tell it to drop back down towards 175 as its first price target. And then after that, probably even lower. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that if you're interested. Uh, for now, this is my take on Seller. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.